Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Lilith in Aquarius. So this video is for you if you do have this particular placement. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. This video could also resonate with you if you have Lilith in the 11th house. So Lilith is the dark moon or the black moon. I always want to say dark side of the moon for whatever reason. I think it's because of that band, the Pink Floyd and their album. Regardless, it's the black moon, so it deals with our shadow side, our shadow traits, things that we might not even realize that we are doing unconsciously. It can also deal with our sexuality as well. So let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory in terms of mythology when it comes to Lilith. So back in the day, back in the day, anyways, back in the day, Lilith was actually supposed to be the original spouse of Adam in terms of Adam and Eve. So what actually took place was Adam wanted to be the controlling one, domineering one, kind of like the head of the house in that masculine energy. She did not like that because she wanted to be equal. She also wanted to express herself fully and sexually and all these sorts of things. So he banished her out of the Garden of Eden, okay? He said no more. So basically what took place after that, he got together with Eve. I think she came out of his rib. I'm pretty sure that's how the story goes. Regardless, afterwards, she wanted to get revenge. So she wanted to seek revenge. So this is why she basically represents our dark side. So when we look at all of the signs, what we want to do is we want to see what are the shadow traits of these signs. And basically this is how we're going to be expressing ourselves in terms of our shadow self. So for those of you who have Lilith in Aquarius or the 11th house, I chose the title of this video to be the ultimate rebellion, okay? You guys cannot be tamed. You can't be held down. The ultimate end goal for you guys is going to be freedom. So if someone's saying to you guys, do this, you're gonna do the opposite just to do the opposite, okay? Aquarius energy is very rebellious, very unconventional. So you guys are gonna have like a different way that you go about doing things, okay? Let's say someone comes to you and says, this is the easier way. Even if it may be easier, you guys are gonna be like, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to do it my way, okay? That's really the Aquarian energy. You guys really want to be your own individual. So the thing is, what tends to happen with Aquarius is like, you guys tend to create some sort of trend or just do it without realizing because you guys are ahead of your time. You guys are psychic in that sense. So things that you're interested in and likes and interests that you guys may have, you're going to be ahead of your time. But as soon as everybody else starts doing this, you're going to be like, no, <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this anymore. You're going to be on to the next thing. Aquarius never wants to be part of the crowd. So you guys might notice a lot of the time you could even struggle in terms of friendships. You might have a lot of friends, okay? Because that's what the 11th house deals with. It's large groups of people, but you might feel like you don't fit with any of them, okay? Or you might even rebel against your friends. These types of things, okay? Or even let's say your friends want to do something, you guys might do things out of spite to be against the grain. But this is just the thing with the Aquarian energy. Very rebellious, very like strong. I find that all the fixed signs have a little bit of an ego going on so you guys can be egoic in that sense where it's like you guys think you're the best people should praise you sometimes it might be like my way or the highway especially in terms of your friends because again that's what the 11th house deals with it can also come through in relationships you guys could be very unconventional especially in terms of your sexuality you guys could be the types who are interested in things like polyamory you guys are also the type who are willing to try anything sexually whether it's with one partner or several partners so that's the thing with the Aquarius energy. It's like the energy, like, let your freak flag fly. You guys want to be free. You guys don't want to be bound by anything, especially like the constructs of society and like societal expectations and all these types of things. You guys just want to be out of the box, really. That's the Lilith in Aquarius. So anything that's the norm, anything that anyone's telling you to do, you guys most of the time are going to do the opposite, whether you're aware of this or not, okay? So you guys can be very hard-headed. Again, the fixed sign energy. So in certain situations, like you can be very, very stubborn as well, okay? Maybe in terms of friendships, these types of things where it's like, okay, if you're not respecting me, because there's a little bit of that energy going on, I don't really want anything to do with you. That's the thing with the Lilith and Aquarius. That's really what's going on with you guys. You guys might have a lot of partners in terms of relationships. You guys might be super, super unconventional, even in terms of a relationship. Anytime anyone's expecting you guys to do anything, you guys are going to want to go against the grain. That's really the thing here. So it's kind of like whoever you're rebelling against, whether it's society, your partners, your friends, all these types of groups of people, you're always going to be rebelling against them. You guys are always going to want to be unique. You're going to want to be your own person. You're never going to want to be labeled anything. That's another thing with the Aquarius energy. The Aquarius energy could be the type that also falls into like, don't put me in that group. Don't label me. I am my own person. You guys are going to fight for your individuality all the way until the end. And again, even if that means letting people go, that's really the thing. So this is my quick little video on Lilith in the sign of Aquarius or the 11th house. If you guys did enjoy this video, you guys can let me know in the comments below. You guys can also like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.